Hey friends, this isn't going to be a journal. Instead, I want to show you some new toys that I've made um, with my Logitech webcam software. There's a goodie there that I hadn't been using. It comes with so much already uh, built in and there's more. Uh, there's probably a hundred various things maybe more that you can download from the web. So I wasn't making any, but uh, recently I found a few pictures that were just too adorably cute. And so I want to show you what you can do with this software. You can take any picture you want. Now look at this little guy. Look at those claws. Look at his feet. This is a bird of prey. It's an owl. Is this not absolutely adorable? There's no mouth there because I wanted his beak to show up really well. Now this next one, would you look at her? This is an otter showing off her baby. I, I just cry. Some pictures are so beautiful. And so I'm doing them honor this way. Uh, not all of them are so adorable, although, you know, some might consider this big guy adorable. It's pretty chilly out there. Doesn't look like uh, he or she is too bothered by it. Looks like maybe it's a cow, can't tell. And so the buffalo. Better yet, though, look at Mrs. Mule Deer. At least I think that's what she is. I fell in love with this one. I've even got it as my desktop background image right now. I mean, obviously not with my eyes and mouth, but anyway, there's a mule deer. And not to be outdone, look at this little guy. Always, it looks like this one will carry or wear a little top hat right on the head. Very appropriate place for it, wouldn't you say? I find that adorable. Now, oh my goodness, how serious can we get? Let's contemplate. Well, I don't think it means death. I think it means memory. I think these are uh, ET computers or something. I mean, just look at the little bitty chips in our computers and what we managed to do with them. Now, look at this big hunk of crystal. What do you think they might be saying with that shape of it? Isn't this neat? Now, in the picture, this one has the mouth open and is, if not snarling, I don't know what. You see how the ears are partially back there. But that gave me lots of room for my mouth. And then, those of you who saw my previous video saw this one. Looks like I could do a little adjusting on the angle of the mouth there, but you know, it's neat to have the fun and the freedom to do that. Now, look at this sweet, patient little guy standing there like that for his master with his feet in the little pug slippers. Talk about adorable. Dogs are wonderful. They put up with a lot. And then perhaps my all-time favorite. Go figure. Was it Photoshop? did it really happen that a raccoon would bring a kitty into a building this way? I don't know. Maybe I'm gullible, but I'd like to believe this could really happen. Okay, folks, this is going to be the shortest one on record, at least for my little website. See you again soon. Website. I mean my YouTube account. Bye-bye.